From the second largest city in the U.S., Los Angeles, California, we've got football as EA Sports coverage of the NFL is on the air. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And we are underway in Southern California. A lane opens here. He's past the 30. And not much doing on the return. Good coverage there. Going to stop him in his tracks at the 15-yard line. Herbert on the first play wants to pass it. Pass hauled in by Johnston. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 13 yards on the game's opening play. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. He's got another one to Johnston. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. So we just called his name on the previous snap, and they go right back to him, Charles, for a second consecutive completion. Yeah, I think what we're discovering on this drive is that he feels like he has answers no matter what defense you throw up there. He reads it, finds the open spot, and is available for the completion. On the out route, he finds Johnston. Second and seven. They'll run. This is Gus Edwards. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. Flush to his right, and he fends him off. So he fought off the tackle, and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. Edwards now on first and ten. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. From the 23, here's second down and two. They'll run for the first time with J.K. Dobbins. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Charger first. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. So many offenses want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. Now a second and ten. Herbert now. And he comes back with one complete. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Well, they're not hiding who their central focus is on offense. Charles, he already now has four receptions here on this opening drive. And I know people who are watching the game are thinking, did they forget about him in the defensive game plan? But it's actually been the opposite. They're giving him a lot of attention, but he's been very creative and savvy in his route. Open man, it's Johnston. Touchdown, Chargers. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Chargers will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. That was a really good opening drive on a number of fronts. Ten plays, very methodical, set the tone. So you know right now, if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you're on the sideline saying, okay, what do we have to dial up in order to get off the field a lot faster? Because both sides are out there for ten plays, but one side comes off energized, 
And the other side comes off with some questions. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. KC's offense ready to take over. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 27. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass catching abilities. And if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And yeah, they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. That's good for a first down, his second catch of the opening drive. Well, they told us that he was just going to be a bear to defend. And usually tight ends are, Charles, but he's no exception to that rule. His second catch of the opening possession, and it gets him a first down. Yeah, and they certainly saw something on his earlier reception. He went back and reported what he found. And one of the things about him, he's like a wide receiver to me, Brandon. He has a great sense of space and understanding where defenders are. Well, we talk all the time, Charles, that it kind of gets cliche about the hands that he has. But really, it's the truth. They're, they're, for a tight end, some of the best hands in the game. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 19. 15 yards there on the catch and run. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, four four, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game. Like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master surgeon at work. Looking to throw is Mahomes. That's caught right side by Worthy. Will go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions, and just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. Mahomes going to throw. Going to get this out to his running back, P. Ryan. It'll go as a gain of four. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third in inches. Now the first carry here for the running back. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. And they got three yards. That's enough. A conversion, and now it's first and goal. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. So a little tardy getting everyone set, and the clock hit zero before they could snap it. Yeah, you can take your time and use the clock and try and get set up, but once it gets near five seconds, that's when you often hear a quarterback yelling, hurry, hurry, to make sure everybody's ready to get the snap off. The delay of game, a costly one, as they're backed up five for first and goal. Now Mahomes. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Rice. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. A 
A first carry for Samaj P. Ryan. Showed off the toughness, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. More from L.A. in a moment. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Now here's Mahomes. And this is going to be incomplete. Great defense there on third and goal. They took away everything. Forced him to fire that one to the sideline where no one could get it. So on fourth down, the home's off. Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs' field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Butker's kick here is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. And they had the touchdown during the last drive, and I'm guessing that you like the balance they had on that last drive. And I loved it. Forget liking it. Absolutely love what they were doing because to be ahead of a defense that much where every play call you have, run or pass, is working pretty well for you. Makes you look like a genius. It really does. It also lets you know that your preparation was pretty good, and now the defense has to do all the adjusting. Nick Bolton there on the tackle. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and six. Up the middle. Here's Edwards. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. That's going to be a six-yard gain. It leaves him with third down and just a yard to go. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But if the strong safety position end up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid, combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. He needed a yard. That's exactly what he got. Earns him a new set of downs. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance. But in short yardage, trying to pick up first downs, that big guy, oh, he's a nice luxury to have, isn't he? Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll run up the gut with Dobbins. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. A stoppage here for an injury and not what you want to see. J.K. Dobbins in a little bit of pain after that last play. More from L.A. in a moment. From the 46, here's second down at a yard. They'll try the air now with Herbert. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Facing second and short, that gives you a chance to go for a bigger play through the air. But I think he said to himself, why don't I just handle this one? Got all the yards you needed and then some and made that snap a huge success. They go with Edwards' left side, and he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. 
out of the gun, Herbert. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. So five yards here, five on the play. And now third down and six to go. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. Like any team playing, they're looking for touchdowns to try and help their cause. But in this case, he does get them a little closer at least if they think a field goal turns out to be the better call here. Cameron Dicker on now to try the field goal. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. to so a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. Now after the Dicker field goal, he's back out ready to send it away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. Just a lone field goal for them so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. Mahomes now to throw. That one caught by Rice. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Charles, to move the chains that time, they had to complete it into double coverage, and they got it done. And it's never easy overcoming multiple defenders, but he sure made it look simple. Found the right spot to exploit and won his one-on-two matchup. Here's Mahomes to throw. That's into the hands of Worthy. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. Stevie's love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. Throwing now is Mahomes. That's into the hands of Worthy once again. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And again, it's Mahomes. He'll drop it off to Piran, complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. To throw, it's Mahomes. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. A well-designed corner blitz that gets him for a loss of eight yards. Now that's a heck of a moment for your first sack of the game because if this long drive ends without a touchdown because of that sack, we're going to look back and say that might be one of the biggest plays of this contest. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. 
One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. On fourth down, Matt Ariza is sent on to punt. Back deep for L.A. is Darius Davis. This one will sail out of bounds. It'll depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems he? like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in. That ball caught by the rookie from Georgia. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Justin Herbert looking to pass over the middle and caught by McConkey. And a result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Two yards to go, second down. Now it's Herbert. That is taken in by Hurst. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 35. That one goes for 24 yards. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. To the air again, Herbert. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. And his kick is good. And they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13-3. Well, maybe a little bit of an anxious moment there as that ball got closer and closer, but it does curl in. Yeah, actually did a little bit of a slow dance there with the left upright, didn't it? But had just enough space, as you said, for it to curl in. Four seconds, all that remain here in this first half as the kick gets away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Chiefs going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And with Mahomes under center, anything's possible. Watch out for the deep ball. Final shot before the half for Mahomes. And he floats one there incomplete. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game as we send you cross-country to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. It'll be the Chiefs football to begin quarter number three, and they trail here as we are back underway now on EA Sports. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, 
It'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. Now second and three. They go play action. Now Mahomes throwing the out route incomplete. It's Rice. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick them into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give them a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. They'll run on first down. Steal. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Second and a couple. A quick throw caught by Rice. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. They'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Throw over the middle, caught by the tight end, Gray. First time they've looked his way in this game, he comes through picking up the first. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. Yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Throw left side, completion to Rice. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Ball at the 33, second and nine. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. That is caught downfield. It's worthy. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 22 yards there, a first down. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Snap coming at one, and it's Mahomes. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. At this point in the game, in the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. Second and ten. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Into the hands of Smith Schuster on the crossing pattern. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Mahomes going to throw. I had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. What a job by this defense all game long. They've come together and really said, no one's crossing our goal line, and they're definitely not going to start right now. You can just see the dejection. Feel like nothing is working offensively. Butker's kick here is good, and they will cut the lead back down to a touchdown now at 13-6. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us.
And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Now we'll look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at their own 26. The drive starts with a carry by Edwards. And not a whole lot there, maybe a yard to the 27. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. On the counter, it's Edwards. He'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Third and eight. Herbert now. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. Here's Hardman to return. Able to slither by. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Now Mahomes. He'll get this complete to Worthy. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Mahomes hit, he lost the football, and picked up by the Chargers. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. On first and 10, it's Dobbins. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. First down, Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. And he stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. Now second and nine. It's Charger football, and they've got the lead as well as we begin the fourth quarter. Here's Edwards again on second down. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. He'll pick up only a yard there, and it'll leave him with a third and seven. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The Chargers on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and seven from the shotgun. Here's Herbert. Steps away to his left. 
And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own, but as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you, and if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. So that CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. Oh, some strong running. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. A tougher task for them now. That turnover on their last possession led to the field goal, meaning that they have to now try to erase a two-score deficit here in the fourth. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 23. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. Now here's Mahomes. Caught, Kelsey, left side. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A well-executed 22-yard gain. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. On first down. It's Steele, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Second down and eight. Here's Mahomes to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Rice. And he'll be brought down right on the 50, a gain of three. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 29-yard line. A gain of 22. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. Fights off the tackle at the 20. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Yeah, the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Mahomes now to throw. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals before this one they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did... Speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it works very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well.
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. That last touchdown has made this really tight. They're clinging now to this slim lead. What, the, geez, the second half, they only have a field goal. This offense needs to kick it into gear. And right now, I'm looking directly at the field general, at the quarterback, because to me, he's got to take over right now by word, pumping his team up, and then, of course, by deed with his play. My high school coach used to say that all the time. Laddie, take over by word and deed. And deed means action. Exactly. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. Short throw underneath to Hurst. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Now third down and seven. Back to throw here, Herbert. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. Well, that's a good piece of quarterbacking right there because he certainly felt the pressure coming. The alternative, getting sacked for the first time. He didn't like that option at all. Did a nice job saving yardage by throwing that one away. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fair catch signal for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. Here comes Mahomes and the Chiefs. Down 16-13. A little under two and a half to go. Plenty of time here. They've got three timeouts and the two-minute warning as they've got it first and ten. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. To throw, it's Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. Throwing now is Mahomes. That's caught right side by Worthy. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. Here's Mahomes. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. Brandon's okay what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. Now second down in a few inches. Mahomes will throw. And his throw is incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Well, this crowd trying to force a false start here. Third and inches. Mahomes. Now he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. But 
Rutgers kick here is good. And that will tie this game here in the final minute of play. So a big kick to get this back to even. Yet now the worry is, did you leave too much time on the clock? Because another field goal the other way, that does you in. You're exactly right. You didn't get it to overtime yet. So now as a defense, you've got to think to yourself, you can't play prevent defense and just give up big chunks of yardage in front of you. But you also can't let anyone behind you. So you sit right on the line between the two, play the best defense you can, and not make it easy for them to move the ball downfield. This one, all we could have asked for. All tied, final minute as it kicks away here. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked his special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and 10 now. Up the middle, it's Edwards. And it fights through one man. And he's got it to about the 40. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Second and six coming up. Again, it's Edwards. And he'll get inside the 40 to maybe the 38-yard line. At this stage, you've got to hustle. got to get back to the line of scrimmage because you're saving that timeout to make sure you have a chance to get your kicker out there for the big shot. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to almost certainly win the football game. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. You talk about a big kick under pressure in the fourth quarter. I mean, that wasn't like a 33-yarder. That was long distance. Not only does it show the faith that they have in him, but also remember, if they'd miss that one, they're giving up the ball near midfield. So they had to be very confident that he was going to put that one through the post. And with time of factor here late, he'll just take a knee, and they'll start things out at the 25. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. 
And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that were the <laughs> We're happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long from Southern California.